Peace be to you, my dear brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Alfonso of India. She was a young Franciscan nun, lived only 36 years. And her life, it was full of miseries, sufferings and sickness. But after her death, when the people, especially the children, started to ask her intercession, she showered blessings upon the people who were asking her intercession because she was with Jesus. And many miraculous things happened. Miraculous cure happened through her intercession. So on this day, when we celebrate her feast, I'd like to bring your attention to one scripture from Romans, chapter 10, verse 17. Let us listen to the scripture. So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes by the preaching of Christ. St. Paul is teaching through the Holy Spirit his audience, very especially the people in Roma. If you want to grow in faith, to grow in Christ, to grow in Holy Spirit, to grow in Christian spirituality and practices, we have to hear about that. That is the content, the gist of this word of God. So when we listen to the preachings, the teachings, the sayings on Christ, about Christ, of Christ, then what will happen? We will get the desire, inspirations from the Holy Spirit to stick on that, to grow on that. Why am I telling? You know, this on this particular feast day, on the feast of St. Alfonso of India, reason is this. There is a beautiful example and incident from the life, in the life of St. Alfonso. I'd like to just explain that with you. St. Alfonso lost her mother immediately after her birth. So her maternal auntie took her to a village called Mutujira and she was uh, you know, taken care in her maternal auntie's house. She was brought up by that auntie. So this auntie was very spiritual. She used to tell with this small Alfonso Annakuti the stories of the saints. She lacked it. She wanted to hear about the great saints, how they loved Jesus. One day this auntie she was sharing with the Annakuti, small Alfonso, about the story of St. Teresa of Lisieux. And that touched little Annakuti. And she was really taken up and touched and moved by the story of St. Teresa of Lisieux. Her prayer life, commitment, how she suffered, how she offered up her suffering, etc., to Jesus for the conversion of the sinners. So my dear brothers and sisters, that day the Holy Spirit planted a seed in her heart. I also want to become like that Saint Teresa of Lisieux. I also want to become a nun. I also want to lead a holy life. At last, I too want to become a saint in the church. See, when the mother is taking initiative to share, you know, the, the Christian stories, inspiring stories, the gospel parables, etc. with a child, Holy Spirit is walking, she is growing in Christian faith and spirituality. That's it. That's what Romans chapter 10 verse 17 is teaching us. When we are listening to, you know, the gospel, Christian stories, um, sharings, etc. that will generate faith, that will bring us up in Christian spirituality and Christ. So here today when we celebrate the feast of this Indian saint, I'm bringing your attention to this passage and incident. If you are a parent, elder, if you're taking care of somebody, how long you speak about Christ every day with your little children, your beloved ones? How many times you use the name of Jesus on a day? We have to examine. You know, we should know that every child is having mind, body and soul. These days, we are spending a lot of money to educate them. 
mental intellectual formation is happening well and good we are giving them the best clothes ornaments toys and food well and good that pleases their body but never forget they have a soul are you nurturing the needs of the souls of your children the maternal auntie of saint alphonse and never forgot to do that so we have a great saint in heaven we are all proud of saint alphonse so let us ask this question to ourselves how much time i spend with my children am i talking with my children if i am talking with my children what is the topic what is the important theme i am repeatedly you know uh sharing with them is it only about the higher education getting a good job going abroad etc making money and settling well or are you talking about the soul christian spirituality gospel values stories of uh, saints then you can also expect we can also hope that our children will also be with saint alfonso in heaven so let us pray to saint alfonso today help us also to lead us in holy spirit to lead a life in holy spirit to generate the love and desire to become holy and also to become saints after saint alfonso let us ask her intercession let us pray to her for this may saint alfonso bless every family but especially all the parents and children saint alfonso pray for us let us receive the blessing may the almighty god bless you the father son and the holy spirit amen